What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. Today is the day. Today is the day that I take everything out of this truck and move it to the shop and reconfigure my tool situation. But before I did that, I just wanted to give y'all a quick look at what it is that has paid for my nice house, my little house and my little garden and my little shed. This is the big silver money machine right here. This is what makes it all happen. And uh, you guys have seen a bunch of my different setups and I figured before I ended this, I would let y'all see how it's been rolling for years and how it works. So, you know, this is HVAC bags that you guys have seen. Uh, somebody's doors kicked in. Boom, I grabbed my carpentry bag. Paint box is right next to it. Here's my little electrical tools that you guys have seen. There's my little yellow Klein pouch that goes with that. Circular saw. Here's the big tool bag, my main tool bag with all the stuff that you guys have come to know and love the big Milwaukee with the big tools. So this side is everything that I grab on a daily basis and it's all sitting on top of this, these packouts. And these packouts have a bunch of different uh, hardware and there's a socket set in one of them, stuff like that. Here is the tray, here's my office. These are the two notepads that have ran the apartment complex. That I've worked at for years now. This is the only two notepads I've ever had and they have run that place. That place would have burned to the ground without those notepads. There's my little tray. It's got my everyday carry pouch and I always keep a flathead screwdriver and some extra pliers and little stuff like that. WD-40. Here's just junk from all the jobs I've been doing. I've been doing side work all weekend. Uh, hanging chandeliers and replacing sink baskets and then we'll go to the other side here's the small ladder broom rope board this is my cutting board you know you always need to have a cutting board and extra two by fours and a place to throw the junk here is my Shop back, cordless shaw back, the Milwaukee shop back, excuse me. There's my little plumbing pouch and another little pouch full of junk. Always gotta have my respirator, air shim. You need some power tools? You guys have seen this. There's my power tools, drawers. This is just like, this is how I roll on a daily basis until today. It ends today. There's my gauges. We're working on air conditioners. Always keep a filter in here, a couple different sizes. Back there's my hose for uh, blowing out condensate lines. Yeah. Cashews. Gotta keep going on the job, you know. This is just the this is the work truck, baby. I'm sad that it's ending. I'm kind of it's kind of a bittersweet thing. This truck setup has been real good to me and uh, I'm gonna miss it, but I'm still gonna be doing some work. So that's what we're gonna talk about right now. So here is the first attempt that I'm gonna make at a new tool bag setup. Now, first, before I talk about this, I think I'll maybe explain a little bit about what I'm doing. So I got a new job and uh, I start tomorrow. My last day was Friday at my old job, running maintenance at the apartment complex. And my new job is I'm working for a new company and I'm not gonna be a maintenance guy anymore. I'm not gonna be a a maintenance supervisor in charge of an apartment complex anymore. I'm gonna be 
working for a, in, on the corporate level in a company, traveling around training maintenance teams and making maintenance policy and things like that. So I'm still going to need tools, but I'm not going to be riding around all day long fixing stuff. So I want to have the first idea I have is I want to have a big tool bag in my truck at all times because I'm going to be driving my truck still. And I'm going to be going and I'm going to be fixing stuff. I ain't never not going to be fixing shit. I'm still going to be doing side work too. So I need to have a versatile tool bag. And this is my big Hercules. You guys have seen the small Hercules. Um, this is my big one. And look how many pockets this thing has on the inside and the out. And it has these big ones for like, it'll fit big stuff like multimeters and stuff like that. So I'm going to load this thing up and do a, a tour of this after I've been riding with it. Maybe in a few days, I don't know, maybe, maybe next weekend I'll, I'll show it to you guys and see what you guys think. But in the meantime, uh, before maybe I do that, I wanted to put this video out and see what you guys thought about this tool bag and uh, maybe just see if you guys have some suggestions for what to put in a all around tool bag. Like, cause I need to be prepared for everything with this tool bag. That's how I'm gonna be uh, approaching this. So if you guys have suggestions for a different tool bag that would work better for a setup like that, like, but what, this, then let me know, let, put that in the comments. But what, what we need for this bag is every a, a setup that covers pretty much everything hand tool wise. Now I'm gonna also have one more toolbox, I think. A small toolbox that's gonna maybe hold some of the bigger stuff and essential uh, disposable stuff. Um, but I'm just starting this new job and I'm trying to figure out the right setup. So. I figured since I have an awesome YouTube channel with super awesome subscribers that always teach me the right way to do things, um, I figured I'd see what you guys thought. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a, I'm excited, but it's also a big change for me. So I guess it's time to have me a cold one. And I'm gonna pop it open with this channel lock. Made in the USA, bottle opener. This is awesome. Uh, one of the subscribers, thanks Sean, he sent this to me. We did a trade, I sent him some Craftsman pliers and he sent me this awesome bottle opener. So thanks bro, I really appreciate that. And uh, I'm gonna have some non-alcoholic beer. All the beer I drink when I'm, do when I'm doing these videos is non-alcoholic, just so you guys know if anybody is interested but I do have some uh, other bottle openers like tool themed bottle openers like this one from Harbor Freight the wrench one I got this one recently and then I have another one from Harbor Freight a Quinn one with a screwdriver handle a Quinn and I love that one so I'm gonna maybe do a comparison of some of these do a review uh, I can tell you right now though this one's gonna be tough to beat because I love that Y'all know I like that old school acetate handle. So, anyway, I've done enough rambling probably for this video. Uh, but this is just an example of uh, why I love doing this because, you know, I have cool subscribers that uh, I can trade tools with. So, that's awesome. Um, anyway, so let me know what you guys think about this tool bag. And if you guys think I should get a different tool bag uh, for an all around setup. Give me, give me your suggestions and give me your suggestions for what tools I need to put in here. I have a pretty good idea. Y'all know I know about tools, but um, I'm, this is a new thing for me. It's gonna be an exciting new step and uh, I'm gonna need some tools to take care of it. So with all that being said, thank you guys very much for watching.